Hey there, it's Steve from TechGrove. Locked out of your Android because of that FRP lock? I know how frustrating that can be, especially when you're stuck needing the previous owner's info just to use your own device. But don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to remove the FRP lock. And these methods work for any Android, no matter the brand or where it's from. Let's get started and get your device back in action. Let's clarify that this info is for those who legally own their device and need to unlock FRP. We don't support illegal activities like bypassing security on stolen devices. Respect the law and others' rights. Our video follows YouTube's guidelines. Now, let's get started. To use Safe Unlocks, type in safeunlocks.com, navigate to Services, and select the FRP Unlock option. Begin by entering your name and email address. Make sure these details are correct, since all unlocking information will be sent to this email. Next, select the brand of the device you want to unlock. Enter your IMEI number and accept the terms and conditions. To find the IMEI number on your locked device, check the back of the phone or under the battery for a label, or look at the SIM card tray for the printed IMEI. Once you've verified all the information, click the Proceed button. You will be redirected to your order and should receive an email with the unlocking details. Follow the steps provided to activate your order and it's recommended to watch the tutorial video for guidance. After completing the activation process, you will get a membership ID associated with your order. Enter this ID in the membership identification box and activate your order, ensuring your device is turned off before doing so. Finally, you will receive an email confirming the successful completion of the unlocking process. Once you receive the confirmation email, restart your device to complete the unlocking process. You will see a screen verifying the information. After this process concludes, follow the entire setup procedure without adding any accounts and proceed with the device's default configuration. Upon completion, go to your device settings to ensure that no accounts are associated with the device. This will help you verify your device information and ensure its authenticity. It's important to know that the unlocking services mostly work in first world countries. If you can't access the services or don't want to use them, we offer 250 unlocks every week for users who watch our videos. To participate, simply like this video, subscribe, and comment with your Android phone model, your IMEI, and your country. Once you complete these steps, you will be automatically enrolled. There are several ethical and legal ways to remove the FRP lock from your phone. You can contact the original owner to get the necessary credentials or reach out to the manufacturer or carrier for assistance. Some manufacturers provide official tools and services to help you unlock your device. Additionally, you can visit authorized service centers where professionals can help you remove the FRP lock following proper verification of ownership. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and let us know in the comments if everything worked or if you have any questions. Thanks again and see you in the next one.